Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask you to stand and remove your hats to join us in honoring our great nation with the playing of our national anthem. Any spectators in attendance for tonight's game must have a ticket to enter the stadium. Spectators are not permitted to stand or view the game from the surrounding fence lines. Anyone doing so will be asked to leave. We appreciate your cooperation. get the opportunity tonight. It'd be nice to get some food from the concession stand. All proceeds benefit the Colerain Booster Association and Colerain High School. So take advantage of the delicious food over there at the concession stand tonight and enjoy some good warm food while you're watching this football game this evening.
The views and opinions on this broadcast are those of Coleraine Game Day and then do not reflect the views of Coleraine Football, Coleraine High School, or the Northwest School District. Enjoy the game. And welcome to 8801 Chevy Road, Coleraine High School. It's Coleraine Game Day's presentation of Coleraine Cardinal Football as your Coleraine Cardinals play host to GMC foe, the Hamilton Big Blue. I am Brandon White alongside Brian Wyatt here to give you the sounds with Mike Work here to provide the video. The Hamilton Big Blue coming to tonight's contest two and six on the season, one and six in the conference. The Cardinals will match that with their own two record of two and six, or three and five. Easy for you to say. Cardinals coming in today off of a victory last week against the Lakota East Thunderhawks. Yeah, you try to compare the teams that played so far to get a little bit of insight on this matchup, and, and it's pretty even. Both of these teams uh, struggling offensively. Uh, not giving up a lot of points, but uh, this team did shut out and beat the Middletown team that beat Colwain a couple weeks ago, 17 to nothing. So, And the team that we looked at, some of the stats coming in. For all the you know, for the core issues of the Coleraine Cardinals, it's been finding Coleraine an offensive athletics. line and a playmaker sure besides the quarterback. It's really com. been the opposite for the Hamilton Big the Blue. Boosters. They just haven't had a quarterback. They've had four different people throw passes, and not just like one or two easy. offs. They've had four different people Visit throw the ball significantly at quarterback. Haven't yeah. really found that one. We don't know if it's injuries or, or what we it is, but a team that has really struggled offensively in the season. Well, and it'll be interesting. We'll see once they start. The, the two main guys we're looking at, um, uh, It uh, you look at them, and that's, uh, excuse me, Harper and Lindsey. One of them is six foot four, 200. Garrett, Garrett. Or Garrett, 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 excuse me. Harper and Garrett. Harper and Garrett. You know, one's six foot four, two hundred and fifty pounds, and the other one's five foot nine, one hundred and sixty pounds. So, uh, who knows? We might see both of them. And they might they might mix it up. Uh, um, should be interesting game. Very evenly matched game. You know, always look to the stupid little internet pages and people talking about the games, and it's, it's everybody sees this is pretty much a, a toss up, but. Uh, Little playoff implications. You and I were talking before we started in this game for Cole Rain. Yeah, it, there's some uh, individuals who will the do the math for you and put up probabilities based on your records and everyone else's record. And Cole Rain likely is in the playoffs at this point. Remember now, uh, in Division One, there's in every single since uh, 16 teams make the playoffs. So just three teams in Region Four that Cole Rain plays in do not make the playoffs. They're in a very good position with their three wins to make the playoffs. There's a very small chance that if they don't win here tonight and don't win next week, um, that they would be on the outside looking in. But tonight has some playoff implications. The Coleraine Cardinals can basically guarantee their spot mathematically with the win tonight. On the other side, Ladies Hamilton, they have zone. to win tonight. The Big Blue or, from Hamilton or next School. week. Both of the, none, neither of those are guaranteed to find themselves in a spot as well. They're not guaranteed a spot. At this point, they'd be on the outside looking in. They have to basically win one of their last two games to reach that point where they make the playoffs. So this is a big game for both teams. Go right, Cardinals, you win tonight, and you don't have to play Moeller or, or Lakota West or Elder, reminder, most likely. Or the, you know, you're not the 16th or 15th seed. Uh, you probably move up to the 13 so to 10 range. Yeah, season. but it Hamilton didn't. on the other side. He's playing to get into the playoffs, period. But this time of year, there's so many things going to happen. Oh, yeah. You can't say, okay, if we win, we're this, we're that, we're that. It's There's a lot of games to be played, and a lot of teams affect what these teams will do as well as what these teams do, do affects other teams. So it's nice to look ahead. We had a lot of people ask us so far. I, I know one thing. If we make the playoffs, we won't be hosting a uh, – hosting a game and this is senior night we'll recognize some of the seniors so this could be the this is the last game that these seniors will be playing on more than field. likely they could win uh, the, the even if they don't host a playoff game or they were to win their opening round and then be the higher seed in the next round they could conceivably be in the second round hosting a playoff so there game. is a chance there's a chance but more than likely this is their last chance so, so a little uh, taking through some of the particulars Cardinals on senior night here will be in the all black with the white helmets. The big blue and the all white with the blue helmets. The Coleraine Cardinals won the toss, deferred their choice to the second half. So it'll be the big blue to take the opening kick. 
Looking to see it's uh, Jalen Morris. And the kick for the Cardinals, senior. Along with Will Samaj Schilling. Aldridge. Neither one of them very big, but, you know, lots Back of athletes. Receive, Aldridge is the leading Morris, man in terms of Samaj yardage Aldridge. for Hamilton on the year. Again, see here, Will Schutte to kick for the Cardinals. Whistle's ready for play. And we are underway at the kick. He'll be fielded by Morris just out of those 10. Makes one man miss initially, stays on his feet, tries to Jaylen keep Morris going. The the cut I, down just short of the third. I don't know who you're going to give that tackle to. He <laughs> he jumped over the goal rain defender, and when he came down before his feet, feet hit the ground, he landed on the back of one of his own players. I would think it would go to his defensive lineman up man, Trey Verdon, in front of him. So we'll see the... Big blue offense for the first time, and it is Nicholas Lindsay and at quarterback. It is not. They have <laughs> someone Cameron with a wild, McKinney. A wildcat is going to keep it himself, tuck it up the middle. going to be marked just around the 30-yard line. So we were looking for one or the other. The big quarterback and the little critical back, they, they confuse us both. They come out with their uh, one of their leading rushers, the wildcat formation. Little bit of McCoy on the carry. Only gained one yard on that play. Yard. Still short second of third, second nine. Again, we'll try to do our best, but this is a team that's rotated a lot of quarterback right now. It's Jalen Garrett in the gun, empty set. Takes the snap, quick little out, hits his man, makes the initial tackler miss, still on his feet, still going. He's going to pick up about three yards Jaylen of the play. Yeah, he was stopped Very behind the line of scrimmage, but made a made nice complete. little juke. Beat the Corey defender that was out there. Marlon Reed with the catch. He made Corey Myrick, the Cardinals, one of the Cardinals' leading defenders, missed there in open space. I'll tell you, this Hamilton team, I'm just, just looking across, very big on the offensive line. Always known for the big offensive lineman, but uh, never really had a dominating offensive line. They're big, but don't, don't look very mobile. So fourth, th or third down and five for the big blue. Handoff, fake. Option to the outside, and the Cardinals sniff it out. He'll be about two yards short of the first down. Yeah, it's going to be about two and a half, almost three yards short on that. And that'll be fourth down and two. A little too far in their own in, in, in their inside of the field to try for it on fourth down. So that's going to bring out the punt unit. Cheatham's going to go back for the Coleraine Cardinals. For the big blue. Like Wesley Fox. Nine, Wesley Fox is going to be punting for the Big Blue. Good spot Susan early in the Jeremy game for a fake. Snap is back. Kick is nearly blocked by Myrick. It's going to be a wobbler. Cheatham thought about the fair catch, but didn't get a good a clean look at it, so he lets it fall bounds. and roll out of bounds. Yeah, that, that, I tell you what, look for later uh, in the game. That snap wasn't the best. The punter takes a long time to kick it. Coring not trying to block it, but got awful close right there. Might see that later in the game. but and A smart play by Cheatham where it wasn't a very good kick. Kind of a wobbler, and he's like, I'm not going to feel that clean. He let it bounce. And well, this is the time of day where the sun hasn't completely gone down. they got the lights on. The there is no sun in that direction. That's what I just said. There the sun has no. gone down. They just turned the lights on. Uh, and I, I think stop. when he looked up, he, he got, uh, by his reaction, maybe lost it in the lights. You're making stuff up. Not making stuff up. That's what I observed. Cardinals come out, shotgun. Zay Jennings with Greg Williams in at running back. Okay. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield by Ebony Curry. Yeah, they Curry. read that right away. The four-yard loss. The lineman was in the backfield but even before they got the handoff. We saw this last week. We saw Greg Williams, your... your Outside linebacker, sophomore, one of your leading, the leading tackler for the Cardinals, got some offensive looks last week. Look at the first play here, and they'll sub him out. Okay, this Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton team has looked a lot uh, like the Coleraine, like they've loaded up on defense. This is an impressive looking defensive line. Jennings takes it, keeps it, steps through. Not much place to go. He will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Long scrambles ahead for a few yards. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to roll out right there, but the defensive end collapsed. It turned him inside. We're going to give him one of the plays, so it's a third down and 13. Third and 13. Oh, 
we're going to be very confused tonight because number 16 for Hamilton has very yellow shoes that are going to be mistaken for a flag at least once tonight. Jennings trips to his left, third and 13. And it'll be third and eight. They go on the hard count, and they're going to draw Hamilton off sides right there. So a third and 13 is going to now be third and eight. Makes that a little bit more manageable. Literally just said that. Still third down. Does that really change your play call too much from third and 13 to third and eight? But it does make it a little bit higher third chance to get it. I think it changes the way a little bit you defend it. You're going to play a little more tighter coverage. Still with trips to his left. Jennings takes it. Hands it off up the middle. Satterwhite. They pick up about three, but he's still going to be short. Colreen only picks up four yards total. Jaylen on their first possession, the punt Ash. unit takes the field. Brennan Green kicking from corner. about his own 15. Green. Back to return. Garrett Jaylen Morris, number 11, Morris and number four, two Jaylen return Garrett. men back for the Hamilton Big Blue. A pair of Jalen's back to return. Green's kick is up. It's going to be away from Garrett. It will not take that great of a bounce, Good but it will go forward. Skips ahead and and the big blue will take over at the Cardinal, or excuse me, their own 34 and a half yard line. line. I'll take that. You got two return men back. No return on that kick. And Pretty much where we started the game at, we're back at about with a five, seven. About a five-yard net line. gain yeah. for the Big Blue. So 7.37 left in this first quarter. We still have no score. Four first downs. No scores or first downs so far. Two, three and outs to start the game. Jalen Garrett at quarterback for the Big Blue. We'll make note of a small change we see in the Cardinal defense. Handoff fake, keep by Garrett. Tries to find some space, cuts through, picks up about Jaylen five. We'll note here, we did see yards. that the Cardinal captain, Stanley West, Taking their starting the middle the linebacker, is in street clothes with Jacob the Fistero. only assume some sort of injury. Senior. So it looks like Elorm Nelvis has stepped up to play that other mi inside linebacker position. Garrett takes a step back, keeps it, tries to find some space to the outside, and he might have jumped back Garrett to the line of scrimmage. He gets maybe a half a yard. Yeah, he was just reading that right away. Quarterback draw, just looked for some type of seam he to open up. There was nothing there. No gain, so Another third down, play. about almost four and a half. Oh. Well, that, uh, Nevis has been your starting safety all year. The other linebacker, hate Danielson, so you're two of your starting middle linebackers are both out tonight. Man in motion. Keeps, looks, not anywhere to the left, and still on his feet. He's still Garrett, loose. Trying to find some space, chase down, and he will run out of bounds for a short loss. So the Cardinal defense holds. And I was looking at the flag on the play, but you were correct. That was the wide receiver's shoes. I told you, at some point, that <laughs> I, I hate yellow shoes and yellow gloves. Well, I say there's like three yellow gloves, there's like two yellow shoes, there's like six pink shoes. I don't mind the pink. They don't look like anything, but a, a shoe a shoe in a pile. So Myrick got real close to blocking the last punt attempt by the big blue. Cheatham back deep. Snap his back. Kick Shanks is high. Cardinals got to do a good job of getting away. They do. Big blue will cover it. Cardinals take over at their own 33. Caleb White downs the ball. For Hamilton. Not a kind spot. It's only about a yard and a half difference, but it looked like he well, caught that way? ball on the 34, and he landed nope, on the 33. Uh, okay. Move it up. All right. Six yard line. So, yeah, the first official threw his being back down, but the side official corrected him. That's what they're there for, working as a unit. So, 36 yard line for the Cole Ring Cardinals, their second possession. 6.25 remaining in the first quarter. First and ten, Coleraine. Jennings with Satterwhite in the backfield. Fake the counter. Jennings keeps it. 
up the middle for about five. Not bad. That's what you're looking for in first down, four yards at a time. On third down, get you a first down. They're almost, they're going to give him five. Yep. And you ain't kidding. Hamilton is huge up front defensively. Well, even in, in the look at their linebackers, too. Now they'll go empty. Clear it out. Jennings takes the snap, looks to throw. Chased immediately, steps up, and he's brought down. And a flag on the play. Yeah, in the area of probably a holding on the Coleraine Cardinals. That is the call. So it's interesting. Do you take the 10 yards or do you take the downs? I think w with the struggles in your offense, I, I believe you'd go field position. I'd, you, I'd yeah, take them I, back. I was about to say, normal circumstances, I think you take the third and 10 with the sack. But, but it, the way, to your point, the way the offenses have, have moved the ball here early, every yard counts. Push them back for 10 yards. Holding on the offense. So it'll be second. In a long way, so they'll have a 28. They'll need a 46. Yep, just scanning this defensive line, Brandon. About 6'3", 240 across the board, each one. Satterwhite in motion, and it'll be another five yards against the offense. That Everybody one. moved but the center. Well, your, here's the thing. Your quarterback. No, no, no. All the skill position players moved. None of the offensive linemen are tight end <laughs> I think someone was someone either read yeah. or someone miscommunicated there. But I was watching your quarterback there. He, I think he was surprised he didn't get the ball himself. So again, something lost in translation. I'll defend Ends this. Up a second down and twenty-three. I think it's a little bit longer than that, actually. Side of white in motion. Look, fakes the throw. Quarterback draw. Keep. And will pick up about a yard. Just bringing three, and they're just knifing right through. Tried to get some of that back with the quarterback draw, and this that just just bringing three stopped them in the backfield. And that's not a bad play to kind of try to get them to chase the motion and the formation, but Jenny just can't find any space. So third and very long. They have the ball at the twenty-three. They need the forty-six for a first down. Jennings takes the snap. He'll throw it up. And incomplete. A little bit of wind, but not enough to affect the ball that much. He, a little bit of pressure and a, a dying quail he's thrown right there. Thrown so badly, there was no chance of anybody catching that. Well, Robinson was there. It was, it was in the spot where Robinson looks up, but it was so far behind him. And he couldn't effectively adjust. They'll bring on Brennan Green again. This time kicking from inside of his 10. Both return men setting up at their own 40. Green takes it. Kick is away. It'll be Jalen Garrett fielding it. And his knee was down when he got it. Yeah. So that's where the Hamilton Big Blue will take over at their own 41. <laughs> so they'll take over first and 10. So two, three and outs by both Hamilton teams, but Hamilton has slowly matriculated the ball through field position. And they started last time, what, just outside the 35? This time they're starting just outside the 40. Yeah, they gained about five yards per exchange of possessions. So still sticking with Garrett as a quarterback. Interesting that one of your putt returners is also your quarterback. And lots of movement up front. That's one of those where there's no hiding. That was just an offensive line. There was no count. No one, no one said anything. No one clapped. No. I, I think kind of out of the corner of his eye, he saw the motion man. It'll be first down and ten from the 36-yard line. No change in formation. Still out of the pistol, man in motion. Garrett takes it, hands it off the middle, and nowhere to go. For the big blue. Yeah, good job up front by the Coleraine well, Cardinals. Jameer Carpenter with the stop along with a host of Coleraine Cardinals. Of and we've been doing this a long time. I give credit. We talk, mentioned that it was senior night here today. Jameer Carpenter might have had the largest family contingent I've ever seen of a kid on, kid on senior night. He had about 20 people in his extended family with him as Garrett takes the snap. 
keeps it himself on the edge, trying to find some space. There's a couple Cardinals there. He's going to try to make miss. Dillingham stretches them out, and Corey Myrick finishes the job. Now, he seems to be a great athlete out there, but Dillingham did his job. Did not make the tackle, but turned him into traffic. Showed contain on the outside. Third and 13, or we'll call it 15. That Carpenter, that's the largest contingent, so good, good on him and his yeah, family. Yeah, and, and we saw a lot of that, a lot of extended families tonight here on Senior Night. So third and long trips to the left. Garrett looks to throw. He throws it up and going to depend on the spot. It was caught. Yeah, referee's really not in good position. His knee down went down right at the flag. I believe he got it. They're going to give, give him a to first him. down into Cardinal territory. 46-yard line. First and 10, Hamilton. Just a little post wheel on the edge, and he throws to the post underneath the coverage right at the sticks for a first down. Well, that's just kind of the vulnerable spot in this defense, behind the linebackers in front of the safety. Kind of attack that seam. So the first, first down with three minutes left in this first quarter. And in motion. Hand off up the middle and nowhere to go. Yeah, there's a lot going on. The ref, uh, the, the quarterback was calling for a guy in motion. I don't know if we've got an illegal formation, two guys in motion. A lot going on. Dead ball. Dead ball. Let's start. Illegal formation on the big Five blue. penalty. Remains first down. It'll be first and 15. Hamilton well, Hamilton we got to find out. Do you, it, 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 is it from the spot? We get back to this. You played downs or yards. So there was about a five-yard oh, loss on that play. The They're going to decline it. 31st and 10, or 2nd and 10. 2nd and 15. Damn, that, that, this is all wrong, whatever just happened. Hamilton's going to lose. Oh, too late now. They snapped the ball quick outside. Myrick with the tackle. It's going to pick up about six yards, but the thing is, the Big Blue lost everything on that play. They well, no, they had first down. They had first down. They didn't lose any yardage. They marked off the penalty. Corrin declined it, but they didn't but mark But they the had an offside on the first down on the first play. So it was first and 15 no, on the start was, of that play. No, that was the previous set of downs then. So Hamilton lost five yards there. Jarrett keeps it up the middle, trying to find some space. He's got enough for a first down. Big blue inside the Cardinal 35. Garrett takes a hit, but not before he uh, he picks up a first down deep into the coring territory, down to the 35. I mean, he's only got 224 yards rushing on the year, four yards carry, but we said we, we're not sure how long he's been starting at quarterback. Another handoff of the middle goes nowhere. Maybe a half yard on the carry. Nathan Fry makes the tackle. We talked about the size up front for Hamilton, but offensive line, I think that almost plays to the advantage of the Cardinal defense just because those two defensive tackles are so fast that the big blue size is kind of negated the with the way they, all, they run their offense. Yeah, I was taking a look at the junior on the right side, number 71, Caleb Taylor, six foot five, three forty five. Garrett keeps it himself and nowhere to go on Nathan Fry with another attack. Yeah, back-to-back -back plays by Fry. We see him have if he if he's not blocked, his first step is quick is as quick as anybody in the league, built like a linebacker, but makes a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and eleven. To be honest, he's kind of built like his safety. He's not much bigger than Corey Myrick. Third down and eleven. Third and long for the big blue. I got to think in this situation, you're probably in four down territory where the ball is, but. It the, yeah, maybe if you pick up a couple. But this has been a field position game. Garrett takes it. Little screen to the outside. Can't break a tackle. That'll be just a short game Garrett's for Sir Charles, Sir Charles Riggins. Sahid Davis on the tackle. They do pick up a couple. It'll make it a fourth down and a long eight. Davis they need to get to the 25. Davis having to step up the sophomore, he another sophomore in the field because Elor Nevis has to step up and play middle linebacker with two injuries there. 
Hi, Cardinals fans, big fourth down. So big blue offense stays on the field. And got a little movement by that same left side of the offensive points. line. Dead ball, false start on the offense. False start on the offense. And, and the thing with the big blue, too, they are now averaging no double-digit penalties penalty. a game, too. So it's not just that the offense is struggling. It also now. hasn't helped itself out a lot, a lot this year. Well, stat-wise, you, you know they're struggling if they're going on their fourth quarterback. <laughs> Yeah, and again, it's high school, so we don't know, you know, who's the starter, if someone's hurt, or what exactly the situation the is. The but either way it is, after one quarter of play here at Corrine High School, Corrine it's the Corrine Cardinal Zero with the Hamilton Blue Big Blue Zero. Zero. Remind everyone you can reach us directly in the chat here on YouTube or, again, at radio at wearecorrine.com if you want to use the archaic technology of email. Uh, listening in from sunny Corona, California, Lenny Lopez, as always, thanks for listening. So. Yeah, Hamilton's really been the only offense that's moved the ball. They they petered out a couple different times. Corain, I don't believe, has even a first down yet. I don't think it, right now how Corain has positive yardage. Tonight's football throw for Doe attempt to Yeah, they had the one series where they had C -O -B -F -C multiple uh, penalties and sacked for negative yards. So they're going to switch sides of the field. It looked like when they were switching up that uh, Hamilton was calling for their punting unit. They were thinking about it. Thinking cash. about it. Honestly, I think it's the right call. But you know what? It's the right call, and this is a great area for a fake. Not as good as the first time, but yeah. That's Wesley Fox kicking. Colerain does not have anybody back. So we'll open the second quarter with a punt, presumably. Yep, there's your fake. Over the top, and it's caught somehow. And there's a couple. There's a flag on the play. Ha Hamilton is celebrating like he called it. It was a jump ball. One Hamilton player, two Colerain players. Well covered. How did he come down with the ball? First and goal for the big blue. The the pass interference was the call penalty. Was declined. Now that's big because pass interference is not an automatic first down in high school. So but that he makes a catch. It's a mood. Point. But as I'm saying, so that would the catch is huge because everybody in the stadium knew that was coming. They was the the defenders were there. I don't see how a Hamilton player ended up with that ball. So now we're talking things over again. So First and goal. Wait, the referees are walking a Hamilton it's offensive throw, lineman off. I don't know if it's one of those. He's getting yelled at. Don't know if he was saying something, if it was a uniform. He's tucking in his shirt. Uniform police got him. It's First and goal for the Big Blue at about the seven-yard seven line. Yard line. There it takes it. A little delayed hand on his step. He'll take it forward and maybe get to a, a yard. Yeah, Colerain at least is getting good penetration on the uh, defensive line. Some of the runs that they've gotten, it's just been off the broken tackle or a broken play. Maybe got a yard out of that. It'll be second and goal from the six-yard line. Second down and goal. And we're taking a lot of time. Play clock down to five. Garrett takes it. And he's just going to run to the outside. He's got nowhere to go. Garrett goes to the left side and no gain. Play out of the cold ring. It looks like pretty much the, uh, their offense looks like our offense from last week. The quarterback run left, quarterback run right. Third and goal for the five. Except it's been a couple of those extra plays. The, the one long pass for the uh, third down conversion and then the fake punt. Timeout, Big Blue. Timeout, Big Blue. Yeah, they're going to think about it here. Points are, are, are going to be tough to get, get in this game. That's their first timeout of the half. So 10-43. 
left to play till halftime. Didn't see, uh, we got uh, kicking stats. It's always tough to find a kicker at the high school level. Yeah, they do have, uh, he's one for two on the year. His longest is 27, and he's 10 for 10 on extra points. So uh, they're almost in extra point area. Yeah, yeah, you're in a spot where if you have a kicker who can make extra points, which he's 10 for 10 of the year, you'd think We'd like to thank our that will be the spot for it. But I think it also depends on how close you get to the goal line here on third down. If you're interested yeah, I'm looking for a – you've got a couple uh, substitutes in the defensive backs, one of your safeties in there. You've got a little size mismatch. Hamilton's got some big wide receivers, especially out here on the outside. Hassan Robertson, six foot three. Snap is back. Looks to throw back side, incomplete. Not a bad little play design. Yeah, they, they released it. I guess he was lined up as a tight end. They roll right, throw back left. Got single coverage, what they wanted, but that was good coverage. I'm not sure. It was 13 on the coverage. Heave Jarman. So they are going to bring the kicker out. Hamilton brings in their field goal kicking unit. In to kick. That's Connor Dave Stevens. For a 23-yard field goal. They'll be put down at the 13th. It'll be about 23 yards. Snap us back. Kick is up and kick. Missed it. No good. So just like a punt into the end zone, a missed field goal at the high school level. It's going to bring the ball out to the 20. Colerain dodges a bullet. No good. He hit it well. He just went left. So the defense bails itself out there. But again, it's it's been in the field position battle. Cole Rain is it's really been the short end of the stick the entire 10:33 to play in the half. Short of the stick is to say they haven't done they haven't got anything positive at all offensively. Negative plays and, and the penalties. They have had one or two positive plays, but nothing more than four yards. So they'll spread it out. Snap is back. Jennings takes it, keeps it. And he'll get about three, yards, about three yards on the carry. About three yards. Yeah, just take it down by quick little three. read option there up the middle. He takes it out of the running back's belly. Follows him through the right hole. Second and seven. Second and seven. 10 10 left to play till halftime. A bunch bunch, twins bunch, to either bunch, side. Bunch, bunch. Cheatham in motion. Handoff. Jet sweep. Cheatham trying to find the edge and does not. Jeremy Cheatham on the carry. He's pushed out of bounds by number. Yeah, one thing Hamilton, it's kind of mirrors Corrine's athletes on the outside. It's going to be a tough team to beat to the edge. He's going to lose almost five yards. He's, he's no. back behind. He just lost about two. He's back to the original line of scrimmage. He's a yard behind the line of scrimmage, according to the uh, the flags. Third down and 11. So see if we can give him time. Jennings rolls right, immediately finding some space, tucks it down. He's got a man to beat, but he's cut down just short of the line of the game. Yeah, he, he rolls out like he was looking to throw it. I don't think he was. That was just kind of a read wide away. Jalen Garrett makes the stop. Three yards short, so fourth down is going to bring on the punting unit again. Green. Brennan Green Senior. back to punt. Brennan Green back to return. Interesting that Brennan Garrett is playing quarterback, Jones. punt returner, and defensive back for the for the Big Blue. Yeah, and there's two return men set back for the Big Blue. Green with a good high punt that the Big Blue will let bounce. It'll take a cardinal hop. And nice settle. Yeah, no, for the, the, those of you uh, uh, that are close to my age, the Saturday Night Live fans, um, two return men back, Garrett and Morris. Back. Okay, my son doesn't flinch because that, that show came out before he was born. Our producer, Mike, remembers Garrett Morris. First down and 10 for the Big Blue at their <laughs> own 34. 
Seems like they're starting at the 35 and we're starting at the 20. Corey just so just make a big defensive play. How about a turnover here? Hand off to Samaj Aldridge, and he will be pushed out around the, the right 41. Side. Yeah, good block on the edge by the wide receiver. He gets the Colerain outside Ryan linebacker. About six, seven, close to seven on the carry. Yeah, the outside He's linebacker there was looking for a holding call, but that was a good job by the line. Cardinal, or excuse me, the big blue offensive lineman to keep his hands on the inside. Not pick up that flag. Garrett takes it, hands it off, and Samaj he's going to lose a yard. Uh, there's your man good. Nathan Fry. I tell you what, Fry and Carpenter meets the running back right in the hole. Samaj Aldridge is slow to get up. Officials timeout. It's the leading leading yardage gainer. UC Health is proud. It's a combined receiving, yeah. rushing return. Hopefully he just got his bell rung. They're really, you know, I always look when they, they come out, they're not really manipulating a limb. But that was a big hit. Kind spot by the referees. Yeah, he pops up. Just He is going to have to come out for a play. Learn more at uchealth.com and experience why we see the power of Yeah, that was either wind knocked out or bell rung for just a split second. He, he's going to be back. So third down, let's call it three yards to go. They need to get to the 44. All at the 41. 841 on the clock in the Number first half. Four for Hamilton. Motion man trips to the left. Garrett takes it and rolls immediately. Got past the initial guy. Nathan but Fry. Nathan Fry gets him, and it'll be Greg Williams with the final tackle. That was very risky by Jalen Garrett. Nathan Fry had him, so he went to throw it because he is the quarterback, and he nearly lost the ball as Greg Williams brings him down. Yeah, Williams almost tucked that ball in for him. Yeah. So this time, Coleraine will have a return man back. It's cheating for the goal ring Cardinals. Going to set up right about the 25. Hamilton did a good job in the last punt adjusting the blocking scheme. Another knuckleball. Out of bounds. Goal ring looks like they're going to have their best starting position. They're going to mark the ball at the 34-yard line. That first punt, Myrick got really close, and Hamilton's adjusted that blocking scheme to basically create a wedge on that side where Myrick's coming from. You could I, – I Well, that first, I, the first snap was a little slow too, yeah. so it was kind of deceiving. Well, I also heard, though, the Myrick and the punter did a good job because I heard the heard the Campton coaching staff next to us. He, like, he ran into him, and Myrick did make pretty good contact, but he, he just let up right in time, and the punter did a good job. Like, yeah, you hit me. It's football. You didn't try – not worth a penalty. So Cardinals take over. Their own 34. Jennings keeps it right up the middle. He'll get about three yards. He kind of changed up the formation right there. Went a little bit wider splits with the offensive line. Went with two, two tight ends. Still no blocking on the, on the second level. Linebackers easily make the tackle for a two-yard gain. It seems like it's taking a long time, but the Cardinals really don't huddle, so they got plenty of time on the game clock. Jennings fakes the snap, hands it off at the middle. Satterwhite rolls off the defender. He'll get it close to the 40-yard. goes ahead. Yeah, he's got to pick up an extra half yard. He, he came down on top of the defender. No, wait, they're not marking it that way. They gave him kind of the in-between Oh, yeah. I would think he got another about another yard after that because when he, he came an, down, he came down on the defender that was tackling him and then rolled the pass for an extra yard. They gave him about an extra half yard from where the tackle was. So another third down conversion for the Coring Cardinals. Third down and five, 635 left to play till halftime. Still no score. Cardinals still looking for their first to first down. And in steps back, throws it deep. He's got Cheatham one-on-one. -on -one. And there's a first down. 
Jeremy Cheatham with a catch. Yeah, single coverage with Cheatham out there. That was Morris for the Hamilton Big Blue. It was just a 50-50 ball. And just like on that fake punt, the receiver's got a little bit of better angle. Are they calling offensive pass interference? Let's find out what the penalty is. Oh, no first down for the Cardinals. They are calling offensive pass interference on that. Offensive pass interference is the call. I was surprised to see any flag right there. Two guys going up for the ball. So a, the first first down for the Coleraine Cardinals is coming back. And then coming back another was that five yards, ten yards. Ten yard penalty on the Cardinals. So it'll be third and 15. And referee just walked off 15 yards. I'm sorry, it's 15. Is that a 15-yard penalty? Okay. Apparently it is. It'll be third and long. So third and five is turned into third and 20. And the first first down turns into a third and long for the Cardinal offense. Jennings rolling left. He's under pressure from behind. He's just going to tuck it and go. Not going to pick up enough for a first down, but he does give the Cardinals a little bit more room. Yeah, he was rolling like he was wanting to throw, but when you're rolling out against your arm, it's tough to square up field and get it down. Good weak side pursuit by the linebacker. Didn't let him get set, so he's going to pick up just five yards and going to bring on the punt. Most popular man of the day, Brennan Green. Back to receive. The Green's kick is up and away. It's a line drive. Fielded by Garrett, but he lost it, and I think the Cardinals are on top of it. Yes, they are. Muffed kick recovered by the Coleraine Cardinals. So the first big mistake on, on, on. Well, I would say the big mistake by the Hamilton Big Blue. Coleraine had theirs. Couldn't capitalize on that fake punt, but this time, who was that that came up with that? Nathan Fry. Nathan Fry having a big game. So Cole Rain's going to take over just inside the Our Hamilton Big Blue 40-yard line with 6.04 left to play in and first half. The football after that turnover. So the Cardinals, for the first It'll time, first have Cole possession Rain of the ball Hamilton in the Big Blue territory with six minutes line. to play in the half. Just a quick, quick, quick little throw to the slot receiver. There's nobody on him. Fakes it, keeps it. Jennings still on his feet, and he's close to another. Jennings on the carry. He Move of the sticks. Ahead. That's about eight. That's <laughs> other than the play that was called back. That's the biggest play of the game for the Coleraine Cardinals. We're going to call that a seven-yard gain. He's knocked down by number fifty, Caden Bennett. A second and short now for the Cardinals. Up the middle, Jennings and for the first, first down. time tonight, move to chains. Cardinals have a first down. Gain, and that is first down, that ball is spotted at the Right off the 26 yard, yard line, 520 till halftime. Plenty of time for the Cardinals. And give the Cardinals five more. Another time they've drawn the opposing Dead team off sides. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the second time that young man, I won't call him out, has, has jumped off sides on, on offense, and he's jumped off sides twice on defense. Cardinals straight to the way to the line, and they're going to run that same play. They already had called. Jennings keeps it, squeezes through. Yeah, get enough so close to a first down. He's running downhill near the Ebony first down Curry, marker. I think, was the man to tackle. He's brought down by number eight. Ebony and they're going to mark him. Nope. And that is enough for first down. First down, Cole Rain. So just to the flag. Into the red zone for the first time. 16-yard line. 
It's getting some good push from his offensive line. Trips to the left. Jennings looks to throw. There's your quick little screen outside Cheatham. Gets some space still on his feet inside the five. Threw a defender, but he's out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Yeah, I saw Hamilton's been cheating up and, and really playing that deep, the, the, the slot guy being covered by a safety who's 10 yards off the ball. So you ran a quick little clear out by your outside guy. Just left that little underneath wide open. So we got first down and goal. Ball spotted at the three. First down at the goal at the three, and the Cardinals bring in Basically, they're starting defensive front. The, outside, uh, the front five, now that Williams is the running main running back, comes in. Fry, Carpenter, Fitzgerald, in defense. Jennings takes it, hands it off Williams, and he is swallowed. Ebony Curry Great has been all over tonight on that Hamilton defense. He pushes... He yeah, listed as a lineman, pretty much playing an outside linebacker, six foot five, two hundred and thirty pounds. He's he's athletic. He's made some plays behind, but he's he makes a play right up the middle there. I'll tell you what, they over they're overloading the side where the big linemen are. Are they not putting somebody over the ball? How about a quick little quarterback sneak here? Quarterback sneak. It's wide open. Jennings takes it, rolls. He's gonna th look to throw. Tucks it, runs. And smartly runs it out of bounds. That wasn't a bad call, but it was a good play defensively. I, I, you get you get Gagorov and Fry out there in patterns, and not a bad little call, but not not fooled with the Hamilton defense. Yeah, he's going to lose a yard on the play. Well, no, they're not. Yeah, it's still got around the pretty three much yard. got the well, yeah, pretty much got back three thirty nine left to play. Timeout. Cole Rain. Timeout, Cole Rain. That's their first timeout of the half. Yeah, I wish the coaches saw what I saw there. It's kind of hard to pick up and change a play in a minimum. When they lined up, they really overloaded that side where the the extra the fullbacks and tight ends where there was nobody over the center and there was no middle linebacker there. So who knows if it would have worked. But. From weekend warriors to working professionals. And that's kind of why I'm in the booth and their coaches. So we'll see here. 3.39 left to play, play till halftime. Coleraine looking at a third down and goal. Both teams with two timeouts left. Not a factor at this time. The Preston Brown Foundation partners with Coleraine and other local schools provide healthy snacks, sports hydration, mental health and self-care resources to refuel student athletes. Promoting optimal physical and mental this well -being. Is three, You know, now, two yard lines, you, you can pretty much line up power and, and go at them. Three yard line. Visit their website at yeah, I think you're looking outside, counter. Read option. All right, Cardinals fans, it's third down and goal. And they're From keeping the big package in. So third and goal from the three. Cardinals, 339 to play in the half. I know you can't send your entire play call around, but it'd be nice to at least center the ball if you don't get the touchdown. Jennings takes it, keeps it around the outside, tucks it inside. Touchdown! And he's in for six. Zay Jennings with a cardinal touchdown. Right in front of the student sections on senior night, 334. Left to play in a halftime. Colrain strikes first. Jennings from three yards out. So the missed field goal looms large now. The Cardinal offensive pass interference negated by the muffed punt by the big blue. Cardinals capitalize off a short field. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is good. And with 3.34 to play in the first half, it's the Corain Cardinals 7, the Hamilton Big Blue 0. You got to give credit where credit is due. Corain has struggled with extra points and field goals. It's tough to find a, the snapper, the holder, and the kicker that all work together right there. Um, you couldn't see, you probably can't see it on camera, but that was uh, uh, your, your punter, Brennan Green, is also your holder. That snap was behind him. Long arms, he picked it down, and they did a great job catching that and getting that into the ground. So Corain, 334. Left till halftime, your first Shock lead of the ball game. Serving your community since 1928. Wants to enhance your home. Shock sells quality tile and carpet products that'll bring your home alive. 
while also delivering a highly enjoyable and satisfying experience. Always like a little bit of confusion right there. They came after Hamilton comes off the line of the sidelines to set up, and half their players went to one side of the field and half them, which confused a couple of the Cole Rain players, but we've got it all lined up. Aldridge and Morris back. They're going to set up. Not too deep, setting up at the 15-yard line. Got a good height on his last kick. Not a lot of distance. Wouldn't be surprised if we're looking like some type of squib kick here. Should he will nope. kick it deep. It will be fielded at about the 15. Reverse. Fakes the reverse. The ball is loose. Still loose. And the Cardinals have it deep in Big Blue territory. So they try the Tried the reverse, a little gadget play. Oh, and it just backfires. Really wasn't any contact by a Colerain player. Just kind of lifted his head up. And when you got a return man that's, well, he's your quarterback too, isn't he? No. Nope. Smaj Aldridge is your leading running back. Yeah. So Colerain's got to get the ball. 3.27 left. At the big blue 12. They can get a first down. How about a handful of special teams tonight, folks? So a second special teams air by the Big Blue has set up another short field, this time even shorter for the Cardinal offense. They're going to have to hurry to the line of scrimmage, though. They're at eight seconds, and they're not even out there. They're going to have to call timeout. He does notice it. It was some of the coaching staff was talking to the referees. I don't know what what about Sign after up. that play. But they, they had started the play clock, and while the coaches were having a discussion with the referee on the sidelines. So I don't know if you want to blame that on uh, the referee starting the clock prematurely or the Coring coaching staff not recognizing that the, the play clock had started. Ultimately, it does fall on the coaching staff to to adapt to whatever the referees call, even if it is incorrect. Visit us online at nwlsd.org and click on Building Our Future. So Cardinals will have just one remaining, but they have plenty of time on the clock to where the ball is. All right, first down so Noreen's gonna, gonna to spread them out here a little bit. Trips to the right, Satterwhite, and to the right of Jennings. Jennings drops back to throw under pressure. Gonna He's got roll. room. He's got room. Not a lot in front. It's gonna be a race to the pylon. He's out just short. He's just out short, but that's gonna be a first down. He needed to two for the first down. He got the one and a half, so first down and goal at the one for the Colerain Cardinals. Also, I know there are some older gentlemen there, but why is the golf cart parked there? <laughs> Jennings it's ran into the golf cart there nearly at the edge of the track. Not a big crowd, but there's a lot of Colerain fans there hiding uh, there on the, on, along the sidelines. But, yes, that cart should not be that close to the side. Cardinals don't send anyone in. Jennings straight up, quarterback sneak. Did he reach across? Zay Jennings. It's going to be just short. He stopped yeah, short this time line. Hamilton had somebody over the center. Well, see, I, I don't think the they line. did, but I think it was a I think it was a bait. It was leave it open, and he almost to say, yeah, you're going to run a quarterback sneak just by the way you kind of approached the line, and he jumped it almost immediately. I also say Jeremy Cheatham did a great job of acting on that play. He did not move a muscle. Oh, your the wide play. receiver? The wide receiver just stood there as perfectly still as possible out there. Yeah, it's not that it matter. Well, it was just amusing. Shotgun from the half-yard line. Jennings takes it straight ahead. Met at the line. The Cardinals push. And Jennings is in. Yeah, he was stopped initially. Linebacker caught him and stood him up. But come your offensive lineman. Came to your rescue. Uh, a little bit of assistance. A little push in. Colerain scores again. So just a matter of minutes, this game has flipped quickly off of two big blue airs. You know, we didn't recognize it last week. Luke McAfee 
The new kicker in. Snap is back. Cold is down. Offside on the big blue. The flag does not count. Well, the flag counts, but the kick kick doesn't. Yeah. Will Shuddy, who's been pulling double duty uh, as on both the football team and the soccer team. I believe he's the goalie on the soccer team. Um, and that's what's kind of tough because you don't – maybe that's why offside. special teams were kind of a little off to start because he didn't – maybe didn't have enough practice time. But he's still there to kick on kickoffs, but for whatever whatever reason, they've moved to Luke McAfee on the field goal unit. Well, you don't need anybody else with you to practice on kickoffs. Yeah, Where field goals, you would. Or kickoff is just go kick it far as right. opposed to Luke kind of a timing mechanism uh, as a unit for a field goal. Who knows? Who speculates? Whatever. Snap is back, hold is down. Kick is good with 2.33 to play. Here in the first the half, it's the Coleraine Cardinals 14. The Big Blue the Zero. Half, it's Coleraine 14, Hamilton Big Blue Zero. Coleraine community, stay engaged with our master facility plan by visiting our website. So. We're back where we started about three plays ago. Cardinal have seven on the board now. Building our future to learn seven more on the board. Excuse me. Coming up at the half, we'll have a fantastic show by our. So we've fans. seen the one big pass from the Hamilton Big Blue. But that was really that was on punt. Offensively, kind of been struggling. They're going to have. Two and a half minutes left and still two timeouts. Yeah, the best offense so, so far for the Big Blue has been the up man throwing a pass out of the two point formation. For Hamilton. From your leading tackler, Gabe Verdun, throwing a pass. So. Should he back to kick off for the Cardinals? Ball falls off the tee or reset it. Really, it, it, as much as we we had wind all this afternoon, there's still a little bit of little wind out the on this field, so but, it, but it's not that bad as it was today. The wind was severe enough that my wife had us turn off our boil-up Halloween pumpkin this morning. <laughs> That's severe wind. I was very disappointed. Should his kick is up. It's going to be kind of a kind of a pooch kick. Aldridge going to take it about his 15, trying to find some space. He gets it, stays on his feet, and he's close to the 40-yard so line. Aldridge. On the return, pretty good return. Yeah, I don't know if he, he's if that's purposeful. I mean, he's Mark got a big Martin. leg, and he's reached the end zone, not Hello consistently. Minutes. But they're setting up at the 15, and, take over first and 10 at their own 40 it's cold. The ball's not going to travel children. as much. Attention, children. But good field position to start 225 till halftime. Half Hamilton Blue will start at their own 40. All the way through halftime, what is going on? Free face paint. Yeah. Right what? The These referees have not done a good job. The chains have it marked at the 40. The ball is placed at the 41. I have. Yeah, right. So it depends. we'll see if. What? Handoff. Jet sweep still on his feet. And he gets back to the original spot, not the line of scrimmage. Marlon Reed with it. Sweeps to the Cooper outside. Creek did a good job of stretching that out. The rest of the Cardinal defense closes in. For maybe second and ten. It'll be second down. I mean, nine second and nine if unofficially, but it, if. Marlon Reed in motion again. Garrett takes it, rolls out, play action. Yeah. Under pressure. And there's a big shot by Tay Love. There's a bunch of Cole Ring Cardinals, four of them converging on, but Tay Love. He hits them hard. 145, a big Two loss, make third down. Coleraine just has one timeout left. Surprising. Probably save it till the outcome of this play. For a big loss, it'll be third and 16. Third and long for the Cardinals. They can't get too excited. They still got a down here to defend. Man in motion, they have trips to the left. Garrett looks to throw. He's under pressure, immediately gets it off. Kicked it outside, and timeout immediately by the Cardinals, oh. but it was not granted immediately. Yeah, he Davis, but there is a penalty on the play. So timeout pending, but there's also a flag. 
It's on. all the way on the other side of the field. He rolled to the right. This field, the, the flag is all the way in the personal f- foul on Corinth. Dead ball, personal foul on the Cardinals. Completely away from the play. But it's an automatic first down. It is not an automatic first down, but I think the penalty yardage is enough for a first down. Didn't see it. A lot going on behind the play. There has been some jabber jawing by the defensive backs and wide receivers from They're both going teams. Going with jabber jawing. That's a clean way of putting it. Smack talk. Change your set. So 108. The penalty also stops the clock. Garrett immediately under pressure. Feels it in. Jacob Fitzgerald brings him down. Yeah, Fitzgerald came through so quickly. I thought they were setting up a screen. That's two consecutive plays where he's beat his man off the ball. So the senior with a big sack there. He's on the hunt tonight, folks. It is now second down and 11. Hamilton in a little bit of a hurry, but not much of a hurry. They have the ball right here at midfield. Garrett keeping it underneath, Garrett and he's brought keeper. down he's after a short game. Maybe three yards. Yeah, Coleraine still does have a timeout yet, but with the where they're on the field, they're probably just going to let the clock and run out. Hamilton eight. doesn't have to run a play if they don't so want to, to but they will. Maybe. Drop back, throw it outside, and it's cut for a first down. Pass is complete. The yeah, he's going to be line. forced out of bounds. Right at the 35-yard line, seven seconds left. I don't know if he got out of bounds or did they call timeout. Well, they have timeouts. They must have said he stepped out of bounds to stop the clock. Timeout. Yeah. There you go, there. Didn't call the right timeout for Cole Rain. Third and final timeout of the half. I they, I, he didn't look like he got, got out of bounds, but they said he area. was, apparently. And it's not a bad here timeout. 20. This is it. you got to get Harrison, it to the end zone if you're the big blue, zero. honestly. The, their field goal the kicker has not converted one over 27 right, yards. That's a half now. Lakota West 13, Middletown 0. That's in the second quarter. Princeton 21, Sycamore 0, that's in the second quarter. And Oak Hills 0, Lakota East 0 in the second quarter. So it'll be so f- first down and 10 at the 37. Big Blue do have two timeouts to go. They have seven seconds. Cardinals have brought in more of a... What you would call a dime package, and they've backed way up. But Garrett's going to have to get rid of it quick because he's been under pressure all night, and he's under it again. And he's sacked. And after all of that, I think the Big Blue will run out of time. So after one half of play here at Corain High School, it's Corain 14, Hamilton nothing. That sack was by Deshaun uh, uh, Harper. Hopper. Hopper. So Cardinals go to the half up 14 and will receive the opening kickoff. We'll try to get you scores and stats and here at halftime. We'll be back in approximately three minutes. I want to let you know on the half now time clock. Thank you. The concession stand. You heard that right. Hot chocolate and donuts. You need to take advantage of that big fundraiser. Stay tuned for our halftime show.
Tonight, before the show, we would like to recognize our senior band members. Our first senior is Awa Jope. Awa is escorted tonight by her mothers, Vicki Henry and Lawanda Alfrey. Awa is a four-year member of the marching band and plans on studying psychology through continuing at Cincinnati State and then transferring to University of Cincinnati. Our next senior is Katie Gould. Katie is escorted tonight by her mom, Amanda Bucker, and her dad, Randy Gould, and her sister, Cece. Katie is a six-year member of the marching band. She plans on going to college and studying theater. Our next senior is Grace Holt. Grace is escorted tonight by her mom, Kathleen, her brother, Zach, and her aunt, Karen. Grace is a five-year member of the marching band. She plans on attending Miami University, majoring in social work and family science. Our next senior is Devin Masterson. Devin is escorted tonight by his parents, Rob and Christina Masterson, grandparents, Randy and Kay Clark, and Kathy Hout. Devin is a five-year member of the marching band. He plans on going to the University of Cincinnati and major in computer science. Our next senior is Danny Tietzort. Danny is escorted tonight by his parents, Matt and Angie Tietzort. Danny is a five-year member of the marching band. He plans to study aviation maintenance at Cincinnati State. Our next senior is Elijah Shaney. Elijah is escorted tonight by his parents, Jamie and Todd Shaney, his papa, James Howe, and his aunt, Kristen Meadows. Elijah is a four-year member of the marching band. He plans to study anesthesiology at the University of Cincinnati. Next, we have Nicholas Wadarski. Nick is escorted tonight by his mom, Nicole Wadarski. Nick is a five-year member of the marching band. He plans on going to the college and major in music education. Senior drum major, Natalie Alcorn. Natalie is escorted tonight by her parents, Doug and Melissa Alcorn, and her brother, Bradley. Natalie is a five-year member of the marching band. She plans on attending Miami University, majoring in music education. Our, finer, our final senior is drum major Emily Holt. Emily is escorted tonight by her father Christopher, brothers Connor and Dominic, and her aunt Gloria. Emily is a five-year member of the marching band. She plans to graduate high school and possibly join the Navy.
Thank you, seniors, for your dedication to this program. Remember, you will always have a home here at Coleraine. We wish you the, nothing but the success and the best in your future endeavors. Tonight, the Coleraine Marching Band would, will perform their show entitled, My Chosen Path.
Welcome back here at halftime as the band wraps up their halftime performance. Hope, uh, jokingly, let's hope they get off the field quickly. We don't want them to get, have a. Yeah, they, they had a little bit of late start announcing their seniors, and both teams are looking to warm up. But the, 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 the you got to like the, the the band parents. They're hustling out there. But let's look at a few uh, halftime stats here. Not that there's much to see. The only stat that matters is the stat on the board. It's 14 nothing your Colerain Cardinals. Rushing for the Hamilton Big Blue, Marion Reed is two for eight. Jalen Garrett, 15 for 20 yards. Let's give another hand to our band tonight. Uh, Samaj Aldridge, three for seven. For Cole Rain, uh, Zay Jennings, 15 for 60 yeah, yards. And Satterwhite, so one for three. Greg Williams has two Ants. for one. Um, not much going on anywhere else. Jalen Garrett Down is four field, for four. According to our stats, for 58 yards passing, Jennings is two for two, so we haven't had an incomplete pass yet today. I think the 30. I think that one completion should have gone to Gabe Verdun, not. Folks, be sure yeah, on the, the, the fake punt tonight. was definitely thrown by somebody else. So we're here covering um, tonight's game, and so you can see highlights. Really, the individual stats are are, are, are not much really to, to look at. He did note 72 total yards for Hamilton. And Don't forget 65 to visit the concession for stand. It's, it's ugly, but the, the big turnover has led to the Colerain lead. They, nothing going on offensively until about five well, minutes left in the half. The and they get their one drive, and they get down there, and then a muffed punt gives the ball right back to uh, Colerain. The they take it on a short field, 14 to nothing. One by both your scores, one by Jennings and the other one by Greg Williams. But... Looks like we're gonna awesome get the band so off the field, Brandon. You got some quick well. scores Donuts. to update because really, there's not really any stats <laughs> worth reading when As both offenses are struggling like this. I do have some stats zone, from other scores. Oh, would you like me to share this? Yes, score? yes, share yeah, them yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, the other scores. In the GMC, sure in a game that is almost as high scoring as ours at halftime, Lakota East leads Oak Hills 7 to 6. A little bit of an upset brewing in a battle for second so place, NWLSD. a tie for second place with Princeton. Mason leads Fairfield 13 to 7 at half. Uh, the top two teams, Lakota West leads Middletown 26-0, and Princeton leads Sycamore 35-0. Yeah, wondering how much that uh, overtime loss sure uh, took out of the Fairfield out. Indians, and I know uh, their Especially quarterback really was banged up at the end year. of that it's game, and, he, and he's their entire of offense. Elsewhere, the only GCL game that is today, all the other GCL games are on Saturday, Elder season playing Indianapolis yeah, Bishop Chittard, like and it is the Trojans, no, it's for Spartan, nope, it's Trojans, the Trojans of Bishop Chittard leading Elder 10 to 7 and a half. Elsewhere, in, up in Dayton, Centerville and Fairmont are tied at zero, and, new corporate sponsors this season. and a game that well, actually does have an impact on us because it is a potential team that we have a, a first round opponent. Springboro leads Wayne 13 to three. Springboro being a team that we can potentially have to travel to in two weeks for the opening round of the playoffs. A little bit of upsets, close games brewing on the east side of town. Witten Woods only leads Levin, Lev, Loveland, Loveland 13 to seven and a half. And West Claremont on top of Milford, 20 to seven and a half. If Milford loses, that's a team that was looking at a home game that could flip, bump someone up if they lose that game from uh, up into the home game slot. So, right, Rain had won the, the toss, and the they Cardinal they Stadium. deferred to the second half, so they will start with the ball. That is Cheatham. Robinson be back deep. The ball to start the be interesting. Half. We've already seen a, a fake punt by the Hamilton coach. We've had outstanding. You think they're going to do a fake kick? They can go tonight. onside right here. I know what you meant. That's just Let's see if Alexander Pacino Grant is going to be kicking Jordan the ball. Robinson can return one here to start the second half. Kick is a squibber and fielded right away. Nice hands. 
He was ready for that one. Braylon White, the up man. Nice hands and recovery by number 23, Braylon White. I think that's the first time we've called White's name all year. Well, the up guy doesn't usually get a lot of uh, a publicity. We just saw it was a squib kick, and a lot of times the, the front row just gets out of the way. But that yes. ball bounced right into his chest, Which. and he did the right thing. Just take it down. So good field position. Coleraine's going to be starting at their own 47. Yep. First and 10, Coleraine from their own so first down, Coleraine. Satterwhite in the backfield with Jennings. Snap is back. Fakes to Satterwhite. And looks like Jennings is going to lose about a yard, yard and a half. Yeah, they were just kind of running the read option right there, and it was blown up. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Hits him on the mesh. Jennings does a good job just hanging on to the ball. He's going to lose about a yard, yard and a half. Maybe lost a yard or so. It's going to be second down and 12. Jennings takes it. Speed option. Tried to make a juke move. Probably should have just pitched it. We'll lose yards again. Yeah. He, I think he did the right job there. Hold on to it. It was a great uh, a seal on the outside. Trey Verdon. And really didn't give him anywhere to pitch it. Beat him to the spot. Got between the running back, the pitch man, and the quarterback. That family didn't start in Hamilton, but the Verduns have... There's a senior out there, there's a sophomore out there, and there's another brother who played here a couple years ago. It's at Iowa State as a safety. So the Verduns have made a name for themselves the past few years here at Hamilton. They're the leading tacklers on the team for Big Blue. Third and long. Jennings rolls under pressure immediately, rolls back, cuts up, still on his feet, rolled around and get... Positive Zay yardage, Jennings but it's not going to be close to a first down. Again, rolling again. away from his throwing hand it is very difficult and for a quarterback to set his feet and turn and it up. And Hamilton did a good job Brennan and made Green. him reverse his field. And there was and nowhere, the no time to throw the ball and nowhere to throw it to. So Brennan Green back to punt. It looks like number Last time he punted it, it was muffed. Nearly blocked, but it's a high punt. Nearly off of the big blue. High, towering punt well, by Green. That was interesting. The, the, there was one of the blockers the for the Hampton Big Blue in the platoon. And and you always hear poison, poison, get away. He dropped to the ground and was laying on the ground to stay out of the way, and that ball almost hit him. And see, that's where you can tell time is, times have changed because back in the day, and it was against Moeller, I oh, know specifically six. back in the day. Act six like it, yeah. The special the teams coach, uh, First Newton, Hamilton. I think he, he was not Ayers, but I don't know where he is now, always would say, act like it hit him, pretend like it hit him. And they did get that call. As Garrett hands it off to no one. He'll do a good job of staying out of his feet and actually turn Jim it into Garrett a positive game. He'll do a great job. He turns, the, he For gets up a little ride. mad at his own team. About he about turned right yards, to hand it off, it but everybody else had gone left. A broken play picks up six yards. But yeah, back in the day, we got it against Muller where you just jumped up and down like it touched You guys him. got away with that a couple times. Yeah. By the way, it's second down in about four for the big blue. Handoff fake, and this time Garrett, Garrett met keeps it and he'll regret it. in the backfield. Down by number 28, Greg, Greg Williams. Williams, and again, Nathan Fry in the backfield. Fry's had a big game, but that, he was making that read. I'm not sure what he was reading off that, right but if he gives that ball up, they're at least getting a yard, if not more. Oh. It was second and short is now Four third and long. Several yards. It'll now be third down and seven. Let's hear it, Cardinals fans. Big Blue have converted a third and long earlier this tonight this one over the middle high and knocked away yeah good play kind of throws into an area there's a lot of a lot going on but donovan dillingham makes contact had to throw that a little bit early but didn't dillingham breaks it up and cole rain's gonna make a stop on this first series 844 left to play in the third quarter cole rain leading 14 to nothing west fox back to punt Back to receive for Coleraine, the cheetah. 
Cheatham's going to be setting up at his own 30. Guy had some knuckleball kicks. He's done, been smart so far. Big Blue did fake it once. Snap is high, nearly blocked by Leo Hughes. Cheatham signals fair catch and then just gets out of the way. And it will take a Big Blue bounce inside the 30. Yeah, smart play. That ball kind of knuckled up there and it was short and he would have had to run up into traffic. Didn't get the good outcome he wanted because they did get it. They picked up about almost 12, 13 yards on the bounce. But if you're not sure, stay away. Good decision. So... After exchange of possessions, neither team with the first down, but the Big Blue have shifted the ball about 10 yards, eh, a little more than 10 yards from where the Cardinals originally had it to start the half. 8.33 to play in the third. Cardinals still lead 14 to nothing. As we saw a couple weeks ago, this Colerain Cardinal offense struggling has completely got away from that uh, traditional option, gone exclusively shotgun the last couple games. And takes it, quick out, Satterwhite too high. Jennings pass is incomplete. That's, that's there all day if they Satterwhite. want to do that. Satterwhite had some room to run, but Jennings pass sailed a little high on him. Jennings a little frustrated with himself too. He knew he had him. Yeah, they're almost running the zone off that, and the outside man is, is head up, but the safety play in the slot is about 10, 12 yards off the ball. Squeeze a little bit closer on this play now. Jennings fake snap, takes it the second time. He's just going to cut it up himself. Straight up the middle for a short game. Quarterback follow. Nothing fancy power football. Only picks up two, though. Curry. Going to bring up third down and eight. Third and eight for the Cardinals. Interesting what kind of play they're called. They need to throw the ball on first down, but uh, don't want to make any mistakes and turnovers with the two-point lead, two-touchdown lead. They're going to go look deep throw. He's got Satter White one on one and just leads him a little too far. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if that was just kind of a uh, a bad pattern right there. Satter White just running a fly right there, kind of hesitated. And so it, was a, it was a wheel. He was the inside yeah. receiver and then ended up on the outside. I think you think you might probably give that to the defender there, making a good job. Yep. Sir Charles Reagan just kind of running him into yep. a spot, Bump, bumped him a li- bumped him a little bit, which caused the timing to be off. So red and green back to punt again. Kick is up and away. This one will be fielded and not fair. Caught, but the Cardinals are on it right away. Good punt Nowhere to go green, for Jalen Morris. Coverage. I will also by say it's a good, two, good thing for the Cardinals Corey that red and green is six foot eight. Of the return. That ball was perfectly right at his helmet, so it wasn't that difficult of a catch for him, but. For a lot of punters, that might have been over their head. Like yeah. start at the and I'll tell you what, that wasn't the greatest decision game. not to fair catch that, but held on to the ball. So Hamilton takes over at their own 35 with 7.35 to play, trailing 14 nothing to the Coleraine Cardinals. Yeah, Aldridge back in the ball game. Hamilton's leading he's, yardage. Yeah, he's been back for a while after sitting out of play. Handoff, he'll get it here. Myrick closes in on him, two on two. For about Samaj two Aldridge, times two, that's four two, yards. Down by number two, yeah. Corey Runs Myrick. a long way just to get four, but four on first down is uh, a good outcome. Again, He's nice blocking by the wide receiver. The allows six. him to make that corner. Second and six, Big Blue. Taking a long time to get this play in. About five on the play clock. We'll get it off. Garrett rides it, tries That's to old. get it, and there is a flag on the field. Yeah, there's a holding right there on the edge. 
Leo but Hughes was about to make a tackle, and then suddenly and he got yanked backwards. A Hamilton player who uh, yeah, yanked hard field. enough where he's got to ask a teammate to fix his jersey. I think there's two. I don't know if the referee is going the same one the side judge is, but there is two holding calls it looks like on Big Blue. Yeah, and Hamilton does have a player now. looks like one of the offensive linemen. So, again, thanks for everybody to listening at home. We couldn't do it without the support of the Colerain Boosters. You can go to wearecolerain.com's page and just find Join the Boosters for as little as $5. Um, you can support our student athletes. And not just that, all the extracurricular activities, band, show cards, everything is supported by the Boosters, and the Boosters are nothing and without you. So join the Boosters. As long as we've done this, the directive has always been not to say a minimum number, and you still, for all these years, still say as little as $5. Well, you know I'll, I'll take as little as $5. I know, but that's not how salesmanship works, but it's okay. Let's see, wait for the Hamilton Big Blue Injured player. We do have a score update. Elder has taken the lead back late in the third quarter. They lead Chittard 14 to 10. Highlands leads Cuffcath 17 to 7. Oh, that's a one I was worried about. Taft is a final score against Hughes 39 nothing. Did they they must have start earlier? No, it's a running clock in the second half. Uh, Elder, or excuse me, not Elder, the Elks of Centerville have taken the lead late in the third quarter there. They lead Fairmont 7 nothing. Anything in that Fairfield game? Fine, I'll look up Fairfield Mason. I'll do it if you want me to. I will. Hey, we've got time. Get the player down. Still 13-7. to seven. Last update 34 minutes ago. Players up, but walking, or not even walking, being carried off gingerly here. Moving the He's not putting any pressure on that leg, so Hopefully the young man never like to see that happen. There's nothing major there. Edgewood leads Ross 17 to 7. Uh, Wayne has returned this opening kickoff of the second half, cut the Springboro lead. It's 13 to 10 up. So after that penalty, they march it back. It's going to be second down and 17. Ball spotted. There was a penalty on the play. It at the 28 of, of Hamilton. So wait for that Hamilton. Big, big blue player to be taken off. See, that's what there. you've got. Your trainers are usually nice, smaller, in-shape pe people. When an offensive lineman gets hurt, they really just can't pick him up and carry him off. We do have another update. Oak Hills is taking the lead. They now lead Lakota East 13 to 7. All right. Second down and 17 for Hamilton. So at the second down 17, 644 in the third quarter. Coring leading 14 to nothing. Little fumble in the backfield, ball is loose, scooped up, and Nathan Fry on senior night with a touchdown. Directly into this into the student section, Nathan Fry, we've called his name all year. Usually defensive linemen don't get much of the glory. This time, the scoop and score, the senior, gets a touchdown on senior night. Now He's got to calm himself now because he's also the long snapper. <laughs> And I like the most excited people on there are is the defensive linemen have, have really celebrated with him. Good but enough. But, yeah, they, they were just running that out of the mesh, really no contact. The, 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 the quarterback hit the hip of the running back, and that ball just popped free. It's a good play. You've got to give him credit. Pushing the quarterback away from the ball was uh, Tay Love. Made that happen for Fry. So Nathan Fry, after scoring a touchdown, will snap the extra point. Back, up, 
His kick is up and good. And good and with 6.33 to play and in the third quarter, the Coleraine seconds Cardinals seconds the quarter, it's Coleraine lead 21, 21 to and nothing. Blue zero. And as interesting as this might be, or as unbelievable UCLA as this might be, proud to be the official orthopedic sports this is not what I thought it was. I was going to say this is the most points they've scored all year, but they scored 31 against them. Provide award-winning care in order to keep the Cardinals at the top. Yeah, there's still lots of time left. They can do the same for you. UC Health's world-class physicians diagnose and treat all orthopedic, spine, hand, joint, trauma, and sports medicine conditions. Learn more at uchealth.com. And experience why we see the power of So you've got three touchdowns for the Coleraine Cardinals, and I do not believe they have 100 yards of offense yet. They do not. What, they had just left less than 70 they at had half? 65 at half. And they might have negative yards so far here in the second half. So less than 60 yards of offense, they but three touchdowns. The Cardinals, Will Schutte, senior William Schutte. Taking advantage of the big blue turnovers. Well, she'll need a kick off, and that's another pop-pop pooch kick. Fielded by Morris at about the 15, trying to find some space. And he's going to trip up just past the third. Your return man taken third. down by the Coleraine return man. Jerry Cheatham, Cheatham. first Cheatham. man down there, catches an ankle, place. takes him down. Hamilton's going to start just to, what are they going to mark it at, the 33, 34 yard line? Over. Thereabouts. First and ten at the 32. 32 yard line. yard line. 628 left to play in the third quarter. Hamilton to the line. Still stay in this kind of pistol formation. Again, just struggling offensively. Both teams, but Big Blue have made the bigger mistakes. Handoff backfield and Nathan Fry again. Tell you, he's Nathan been Fry. everywhere. He is beating his stop. man. I don't I don't how don't You've only got three de defensive linemen right there. How is he beating his man every single play? Nathan Fry having a monster a game tonight. Second and 12. Uh, equipment timeout, it looks like. Sir Charles Riggins will have to come out. I believe the referee noticed that his kneecaps were showing. Yeah, I watched a couple high school games last week, and quarterback in one of the games just pretty much had thigh pads and no, no knee pads, and he, he looked like he was wearing shorts. Referee said nothing. So I don't, if you're going to call it, call it consistently. Jarrett fakes the handoff, keeps it, and Leo Hughes with Jacob Fitzgerald in the back. Yeah, that, pl that play, Leo that mesh up front has been unsuccessful. Really kind of takes too long to develop. Looks like another loss on the play. Coring a lot quicker against this big offensive line. Yeah, you would look at it and say Hamilton is huge and should be pushing him around, but right, there's a difference fans. between big and, and can be able to move, but the, the, just the fast speed up front is just getting into the backfield before the big blue offensive line can get any protection. Long pass, step back, and knocked away by Dilling. There Dillingham goes one-on-one on one with Logan. number one, Sir Charles Riggins. Once again, by Nice Jonathan contact, Dillingham. clean contact, well-timed, ball broken up. Here comes the punting unit. And Cheatham will get a chance Not to return another punt. When you're hit like that. Great hit. Clean hit. All right, into punt. Looks like number four, Jalen Garrett. So Back to return is the cheetah, Jeremy Cheatham. Ball's been kicked to the left side. Cheatham really cheating him that way. Kind of plays the right spot. Calls a fair catch. Ball taken really nice at the 41 yard two line at the Coleraine Cardinals. No return. 505 left in this Jeremy third quarter. Gear Coleraine Cardinals up 21. Hamilton nothing. This might be the longest quarter of football. For really nothing except that defensive touchdown happening. Small it's been small. three and out. Well, and there and hasn't out. been incomplete. Yeah, there's no incompletions. The it's been over an injury and, and just punt back and forth. Not much really. Although there was the Saturday, the pass intended for Saturday that went incomplete. Okay. One real defensive touchdown, and that, still we have 5 0 5 to play. So Cardinals come out. To the left, one to the right. Out of the gun. 
Jennings this time quick pass Satterwhite trying to find some space cutting it all the way across field head kids back to the line of scrimmage you know they run that little uh, quick out right there and I'm, I'm like he's running back towards traffic yeah, you I, can run that if you've set up the blocking to be a tunnel screen. I don't, yeah, but that I don't was not set up to be a tunnel I screen. I think he just saw something he liked and went for it. I, you, you like the aggressiveness, but when you run that little quick little bubble out like that, you got one-on-one -on -one to, to, to beat out there in the flat. You run towards the middle of the field. There are nine big blue waiting on you. He loses a yard on that. Jennings, high snap. And spins around, and he's just got nowhere to go. Jennings on the keeper. A little timing thrown off. I don't know if the center was a little late. Wasn't that bad of a snap, but something was off on that play. So loss of two yards. Third down and 13. Quick update. The Fairborn Skyhawks trail the Tippecanoe Red Devils, 56-14. Typical new now and they're putting themselves in a likely playoff spot. So third down and 13 for the Cardinals, and it'll be third down and 18. Yeah, one of the Colerain offensive linemen start on the moved offense. a little bit early. It'll be a five-yard penalty. Remains third so a five-yard penalty will make it third down and 18. And a field goal. Mason now two scores up, 16 to 7 over Fairfield. And he looks to throw deep. Robinson got him, and a huge gain. You know that adds to his yard, yards per reception for Robinson. It's just one of those throw it and let you let your athlete get under. There were two defenders right there, but he ran past them. And Jennings this time looked like he overthrew him. Robinson stumbled a little bit, but great adjustment to the ball. It's first down to your Cole Ring Cardinals. That's a 23. We've seen that throw a couple times to Cheatham, but we haven't been waiting for it all night. Robinson, who's haven't seen over 30 yards a catch, had that big one at the end of the half last week against East. Well, he had one last week that for only nine yards. Kind of, kind of threw off his average right there. I think he's still over 30. He's close to it. Close to it. He's got a talent for that. I, I, you know what? Even if it's incomplete, it, it, it kind of... Keeps your safeties a little bit, gives the run a little bit more room. With the safety's got to play there back with him. But he, he does have a knack for coming down with that long ball. Jennings takes it. First and five, make it about first Zay and three, Jennings first and it. four. He's taken down by Ebony Curry. And yeah, it was just a quick little quarterback draw. He was It was not a read at all. He was just looking – Bouncing around, looking for something to open up, and there wasn't anything there. Yeah, even with that nine-yard catch last week, he still had a 35-yard average for four. catch. So. Officially, I think, no gain on the play. Second down. Cardinals in control right now of this game. And really, Cardinals will have to quickly get to the line, set, and I'll just call a timeout. Yeah, three seconds left in that Time play out. clock. I don't know if it's a little indecision getting the play in or it's the right personnel. Combination, I think, there. Once again, on split the pot, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner, a winning ticket. I'll tell you what, the other pot. school in Northwest Nobody Local School District home. is putting together a decent season there in Division Two. They lead Northwest 34-7. to seven. If you were the battle, Corin really doesn't get to bat, other than LaSalle, doesn't really get to battle the neighboring the schools. Two, Northwest zero, does. They're nine, in the lower divisions. They beat Ross four, early six, in the year, and they're taking the terrors. And so three, neighboring districts. Two, Northwest zero, is winning that battle. Nine, four, six, six, three. If that is your number. Also, if you heard the PA, the then, then that's your immediately to uh, claim your If you've got a split the pot <laughs> ticket and you're listening to us. <laughs> that's impressive. That's impressive because that means you're sitting in the stands here listening to us. I didn't us, win which, split the pot. Another touchdown. Elder leads now 21 to 10. Right, second down and four. Cool so second down and four, 2-12 in the third quarter. Jennings has it. He's going to roll to his right, looking to throw. And he 
hand sat away, but just didn't get a good Jennings throw out of bounds. Yeah, this Southern time Lions rolling is. towards his throwing arm. Bring up third down and, and he did. He had Satter wide open and just kind of overthrew him and ran out of sidelines. So incomplete pass stops the clock at 2 207 in the third quarter. Interesting spot where they're at. If they don't get anything here, they might be out of excuse me, out of field goal range. This might be two down territory. Jennings going to roll again. Stepped up. Cuts it back. Can't oh. stay on his feet. I'll tell you what, he had room to run there on that left side. Another great play. Trey Verdan coming from his defensive end position just kind of clips his heel. He loses yardage, which I think definitely takes him out of field goal range. Nope, but they're nope. going to sell one. Will Shitty out there. Like they're going to go for and a field goal. It's at the 21. If it's a missed field goal, you dig it into the 20. So why not take a shot? Well, and it's surprising, too. We said should he had not been kicking the extra points. The other kicker was. Yeah, maybe he just a long kicker. By Will <laughs> he does have to get it off here soon. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is. I think he blocked it. Partially blocked. So the. The kick is partially blocked. 38-yard no field goal is no good, but it does go in the end zone. With one minute, so it's a, essentially left. a net punt of two yards. In the third quarter, it's Corey 21, Big Blue. So with 116 to play, Corey still leads 21 to nothing. If you have the split the top yeah. winning ticket, you need to come immediately. Just be surprised if maybe uh, or we, will be we saw to draw two different, number. you know, we've said Hamilton has used four different quarterbacks this year. So if you They've have kept the, the running quarterback, the more athletic ticket, quarterback in, but down three scores with just limited time. Surprise, we haven't seen number. the, uh, uh, one of the First other quarterbacks give Hamilton it a shot. From the 20-yard line. Garrett hands it off up the middle. Good tackle there by Davis. Yeah, Davis came Cordell up from his goes ahead, defensive back position game. and filled the hole. There was, there was, that's a nice little run five. on first down. They're getting even five yards. And we do have a winner <laughs> and, and from With all due respect to so these two teams. Congratulations. The Wyoming running back, C.J. Winners. Hester, just scored his seventh touchdown of the night against their Wyoming's playing Phoenix Town as Garrett takes it. A little bounce out by McKinney, handed some space, and that's close to the 40-yard line and a big blue first down. Cornell, yeah, it's a little bit of success. Colrain cannot exhale Skip just yet. For for big down. Blue's not going away easy. Back to back big runs brings them all the way out to the Colrain 38. Just to finish that, CJ has 14 touchdowns in the past two weeks. That may, might be more than either of these teams have scored offensively all season. I Combined. Yeah. Wyoming well, mean, still undefeated in the regular season, and Cooper Creek. With another tackle. I don't think Wyoming's Cooper lost in the regular the season in like that five there. years. Holds the big blue to just a yard. It'll be second and nine. The sophomore with the tackle limits McKinney to a one-yard gain. Yeah, Wyoming is a, a great academic school, but kind of geographically in a nice area to find a good running back every year. Quality, quality school. Garrett again fakes to no one, and there's your man, Nathan Fry. Will I add to the stats? He gets another sack. Yeah. It'll be ruled probably so as a sack, a but it was kind of a broken running play. The quarterback turns to the right to hand loss. the ball off, and that's the final play of the third quarter. After three quarters of play here at Corain High School, it's the Corain Cardinals 21. Now it's in big blue zero. Yeah, we've, we've seen that twice, with a, or at least twice. The quarterback has turned to the right to handle the ball, and the running back has gone left, and he just if you were to count, dry. If you were to count the sack yards, tackle for lost yards, and the fumble return yards, Nathan Fry might have as much yardage as the Corey offense. Injuries happen. But they did have that big pass play that set them up earlier. Heck, he might have as many yards by himself as the big blue offense. I mean, Nathan what he Fry picked up, he, he picked up that uh, the return at what, from about the 15, 16 yard line? Yeah, yeah, 20 still. But I mean, he's got about six or seven tackles for loss slash sacks on the night. So we're going to switch sides here for the fourth quarter.
Garrett under set, uh, I'm sorry, in the shotgun. Third and about 13 for the Big Blue. They send a man in motion will have trips to the left. Looking to throw. And Nathan and Fry again. Pass and he's met once again by Nathan, Nathan Fry. Fry. I'm telling you, that sack was another 10 yards for, for Nathan Fry. It is fourth and about 13. Ball marked at the 24. They Fourth need about 25. the 48. So yeah, it's about 24 yards. Hamilton they is back to punt and back to receive. Cheeto will, will sit at midfield. Yeah, Cheatham's going to shade him to the left hash. High kick, not very far. Cheatham, I don't know if he Cheatham called fair catch. <laughs> And I'm not. Stops, drops, and rolls. The referee is going to call a personal line. foul on Cheatham for his little extra roll. Cheatham t- doesn't fair catch it, but takes himself to the ground and then rolls over two or three times. And I believe the referee is going to maybe Penalty call that play. taunting. Ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Wow. On Hamilton. No, he's going to call it on Hamilton. Oh. So I was maybe, about maybe with him rolling on the ground, one of the Hamilton's guys said something. To I was gonna him. say that has to be the weakest. Fa- if they called that on Cheatham, that was. But yeah, the it was we- it was un- have, unusual. Of, but it was all, all all of the times we say that's the weakest one. That would have yeah. been no exaggeration. Yeah, he weakest. dropped to the ground and just literally just rolled he like a log. He wasn't. And taunted. it was more. It was more like it was fun. He was having fun. Yeah, he was making fun of himself really because he rolled himself out of the way. But yeah, and no, no Hamilton player made contact. So it was probably something said first down for the Coleraine Cardinals. And that's gonna be nowhere. And the ball's loose. Big Blue can't get to it. Coleraine falls on. Yeah, blown up in the mesh. Colrain had no chance getting it off. Offensive line blown up right there. Yeah. Jennings had it, but it knocked out. Lost the ball and the shoe. Great hustle. What was that, 55? Yep. 55 for Colrain Cardinals. But that was Eli out. Washington. Hustled, down. covered that ball up. So it's a big loss, but they retain possession. The clock runs. 11 minutes left 20. to play. Three. Yeah, and Jennings still doesn't have a shoe on after as they break the huddle. Timeout. Yeah, the referee just now noticed it and resets it. He's, gonna give, he's trying to tie his shoe. Jennings had it on, was tying it, then everyone's rushing to the line of scrimmage, and he tried to get up, and it was not secured. Came off, he had to put it back on again. Now it's secure. They reset the play clock. Didn't start the game clock, though. We went out of bounds. Okay, you're right. Handoff. Greg Williams breaks one tackle still on his feet. And Greg Williams with his nice biggest gain of the night. Greg yeah, Williams. nice positive yards. He's going to get all the way up to the 40-yard line, just a couple ahead. yards short of the original line it of scrimmage. Like the 40-yard line. So that will make it a manageable third down. So third down and 14. 14. Greg Williams kind of rolling into that spot that we've seen the past couple of years that – you have your best outside linebacker. Happens to be pretty good running back, too. We saw it uh, last year with Jarman. Before that, a couple years before that with the with the Pace brothers. Jennings takes a third and long handoff. Williams again cuts up on side, stays on his feet. It's about four yards, but it's still going to be a fourth down. Three yards. That is another tackle by Fred and. From his up defensive the end. Yard line. Be so it'll bring up 11. a fourth and 11, but the ball's at the Hamilton 37. Bring it's in the a punt good unit. spot for a Cardinal fake. In the punt, senior, big Brennan Green. So Hamilton's got two back. He takes it, and he will throw it. Incomplete. He well, you know what, he, even if he completes that, that there's a defender ten. right there. He's probably Just still about seven yards short. Corey He's Byron. only about two yards short. He needed the 28. He was at about the 30 where he so would have caught it. Yeah, you got to run. Even if you get that, you've got to run your pattern past the yard to get. 
You would have hoped Myrick maybe broke a tackle there. He didn't have some space. Middleton will take over first. And I mean, no one was surprised to that, were they? On their own well, yeah, Hamilton put line. two guys back. They didn't bring a rush. It was open if he throws it. I believe they might have caught Hamilton off guard, but it That's didn't matter. It. We talked about the uh, – Garrett has it. Hands it off. McKinney had some space, and then it closed. He'll get about two yards. We talked about the advantage of Brendan Green being 6'8 on those high snaps. I think it's the opposite there. He's so tall that his that's a nor, anyone else that's a throw on target because he's starting four inches taller than ever, six inches taller than everyone else. It sails over my head. There have been a lot of six foot seven, six foot six quarterbacks out there that can throw. Yeah, the ball but yeah, they're but they're quarterbacks. They're not punters. So second down and eight. Play action, Leo Hughes can't make the play. Garrett gets it away, has a man all alone as the outlet, and it's going to be a big gain for McKinney. Somehow Garrett turns something into something. A nice, just effort play by the quarterback right there. No call for the lineman downfield. Enough for a Hamilton first down. The thing is, Garrett was so far back, I don't think they were downfield. He was just I ran back. He, yeah. he just ran backwards so far. <laughs> you might be right on that. So first down into Coring territory. Ball at the 47. Garrett, scramble, trying to find something. He'll find Nazir Harper for about a yard. Nazir Harper. At 6'5", 240, to started the year as the quarterback for the Bakerloo. Yeah, com comes from the tight end position. I don't think he was the initial line, is, uh, the official, or the original wide receiver target. Gets a yard on that play. Garrett, take it. It's going to be a quick snack. He's going to keep it. Dancing around the backfield, trying to find some space. Nowhere to go. To the right side, looking for some running room, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be third and long. Well, he's met by several Cardinals and stopped in his tracks. The ball will be marked. So a 7-10 left to play in this ball game. Cole Rain still leading 21 to nothing. Third down and nine. Cardinals here, even if you give up this, you've done your job of extending it. Oh, we're going to penalty off sides on, on Cole play. Rain. You've done your job with a three-score lead of extending this drive as long as on possible. The defense. Yeah, the clock is your best friend at this point. That'll be a five-yard penalty. So it's going to make this third down conversion a little more accessible. And that'll make it third down and four. Third and short for the big blue. Handoff up the middle. Nothing. And Nothing. And nowhere to go. Nothing. Big 99. Jameer Carpenter on the stop along with a host of Coleraine Cardinals. Cardinals. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to bring up a fourth down. And they'll give him forward There's no way Hamilton's not going to go for it at this point. Down and four 630 for to play. Down three scores. Time. Hamilton's biggest plays have been broken plays. So an extra effort by the quarterback and a scramble. We're going to go for it. Fourth down and four. Fourth down and a long four. Garrett takes it, looks. He's got his man too far out ahead. Ball dipped. Garrett's pass Incomplete. Was Cardinals take over. Picked off by. Yeah, Donovan Dillingham else? is kind of a little bit upset Donovan with himself. Dillingham Ball himself bounced off his, his inner elbow. Pretty much it was that, that catchable. But. You know, if you don't catch it right there, it doesn't matter. It stops, stops, turns over on downs. Cole Rain's ball. 6.03 to play, 21 nothing. Cardinal leads. You were made for this moment. One dollar for a slice of pizza at the concession stand. One dollar. Mason has turned it up. They now lead Fairfield 23-7. to You might have been right. They might. You don't know if with the what they're doing offensively. Talon Fisher did get beat up in that one. Well, yeah, Talon Fisher game. is their offense. Yeah. Jennings fakes it, keeps it, 
runs to the outside, trying to find some space. He'll run out of bounds, but after a game of about five. Right yeah, Bear Dan he gets his heel, but this time he gets yards. away. It'll be second down and five at the Not your prototypical defensive end. Almost looks like a, a, Colerain, a Colerain defensive lineman. you got a linebacker playing defensive end. He's been all over the field today. But Jennings is going to pick up almost five right. yards on that play. Between the two Verduns and Evan Curry, Evan e. Curry, it's been a very impressive defensive front for the Big Blue. Jennings takes it, hands it off to Williams up the middle. He fights forward and uh, right, sort of a first down. Nails, gets him Needed five, got four. 548 left to All play in this third quarter. Line. Or excuse me, in this game. That'll bring up third and one for the Cardinals. And I'll tell you what, you mentioned and his name. Kind of hobbled right now. An angel, angel Curry. Player. While they tend to him, I have some scores for you from local. So to give Colerain without, without having to take a timeout there, a little bit of more time to think quarter, about the uh, play that they're going to make on this third seven. down and one. Not it's overly not crucial, race. but if they can pick this they're up, they can run here. some more time off the clock. Mason 23, Fairfield 7. A couple other third score quarter. updates while we have some time. Centerville Princeton still leads 7 0 over Fairmont. Zero in the third Princeton. Quarter. Pretty much final there, 42 and nothing over Sycamore. 34, Harrison 14. In the Other fourth. scores that I found, Pickerington North leads New Albany, 15 to 10. You're just rambling finding any score that you that pops yep. up. Granville leads Licking Valley in the LCL championship in the small schools in Columbus. See, that, that's what's fun. You always look it up, and you're looking at Twitter and the different things, and it's okay. tough. Some schools, when they get down, quit tweeting. Some schools do don't do a good job on it. And some schools tweet too much. That's actually a really good game if you can find it online. Van uh, Granville versus Looking Valley. All right, here we go. Third down Granville and one is a for really well coached team. So he's third down and one out of the shotgun formation. Greg Williams next to Zay Jennings. This would be a good place for him to go play action deep. Or just have Jennings follow everyone for a first down. Jennings takes it, keeps it, and gets Zay enough Jennings and more for a first down. Front line there. Nothing fancy Sterling right there. Quarterback the follow. Yards. Substitution He's in the ball game on senior night. We're going to recognize him a little bit later. Down, but, not before we had enough for but you see the offensive line celebrating a little bit. Stephen Cassidy, your senior, your five foot six offensive lineman. First and ten Cardinals from the Hamilton Big Blue 46 yard line. So the senior getting to the ball game for the first time. Jennings takes it, hands it off to Williams. It's not gonna get much. Greg Williams on the carry. He maybe makes That's the nice the thing about having a comfortable lead on senior night is that you can get everyone in the game. Going to be second down and 11. Yeah, Stephen Cassidy, as I said, 5'6", 225-pound offensive lineman. Comes in at guard. With, with Ebony Curry, who's 6'5", over top of him. He got in his way. He got in his way, <laughs> did enough. He wasn't on the backside of the play. The handoff was about a year. Well, I watched no right game. there. Yeah, no game. Curry, playing defensive end, was pretty much over the tackle. Saw the slight, uh, saw the substitution there at guard and moved over a little bit. Why not? Another substitution up front. Senior Brennan Green is your regular punter. He's also your backup tight end. He's now in the game. Although for a second there, I thought he was going to trick everyone to line up a quarterback. Well, we have seen him run the scout team. He can't throw the ball. Well, he just threw the ball in the last set of downs as well. Jennings fakes it, keeps it, and, well, Gabe Verdun and Ebony Curry do what they did all night tonight, make tackles. Tackled by Gabe Verdon. It's going to be a timeout by the Hamilton Big Blue for this fourth down. 3.26 left to play. That'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, the couple subs on the offensive lineman as much as the, the offensive lineman struggled throughout the year. Uh, Hamilton 
took full advantage of the subs. The good thing for Coleraine, everyone came out of that. Timeout by Hamilton. That is injury their first timeout of the season. You know what's great? I always like to watch Attention the sidelines. The stupid throw things are. Cassidy comes to the sidelines. Coach Coat Coach Coach Cut Right. Son, ball boy, comes up and, and celebrates him with Cassidy going Total up, and, and they're the same height. He gets. But you know what? It's one of those things. Hey, I played Colerain football. I got in on senior night. You've got a stat. You've got an appearance. I want to take this time and what's great because what makes a team are its seniors. These some of these guys you know, will just see the field tonight. Only see the, the, the field and mop up duty. But it's practices that these guys run the scout team that 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 make the guys that are starting, even the underclassmen behind them, makes an entire team better by having these extra players that give them a little bit more. So fourth and 17 for Brendan Green. He'll set to punt again. Back to punt. Senior, Brendan Green. Takes it. Kick is up, and it's away. It'll go out of bounds. Big Blue take over somewhere around the 30-yard. Yeah, that one didn't even sound good off his foot. Green kind of just, you hear the thud of the ball, and that just went straight to the sidelines. They're still marking it off. That ball went out of bounds with no return at the 27-yard line. 320 you know, left to play. Your Coleraine Cardinals lead 21 to nothing. That if in that snapping. situation, that's a, you don't care. You didn't get blocked, and they didn't return it for a touchdown. So you're good. Right, Hamilton takes over first and 10. Hamilton first own. and 10 at their own 27. 28 yard line. Still Garrett in at quarterback, I think. They have that extra running back up in slots. It's sometimes hard to tell. Hand off McKinney. Corin's going to start bringing Cornell in more substitutions. On the number 14 in now. Decent game. About, about Kevin four yards. Sherman in the ball game. Six for Hamilton. Of course, someone for Corin has to come out. They can't play with 12 men. There we go. Taylor finally comes out. Under three to play now, handoff. McKinney trying to find some space, and Cameron McKinney doesn't find much. Cornell Ben McCoy on the carry. He stopped short of the line of scrimmage, but there's a penalty on the play. Flags all over the play. Kind of looks like the He's one referee was pointing Cole Rain's way, but that was on a straight running play. You get a, It looks more like a holding. I don't know if we got a face mask. Personal foul. Personal foul. It face is mask. a personal foul Sound face mask. Ring. Most most devastating of that is that it stops the clock for Corey. That ball will be marked on the spot of the foul. They'll take the ball all the way out to the Hamilton 47. 2.41 left to play. Clock will run with the side of the chains. Garrett takes the snap immediately. Hand off in the backfield. And Michael Scott, Difficult exchange. Jr., with nowhere to go. Michael Scott, Jr., all the way from Dunder Mifflin on the carry. So, yeah, I don't know. It looked like he well, just he kind of uh, fumbled that ball. Didn't really get that clean. By none other than Cooper Craig. Had to but stop moving forward to Brandon. secure the ball. Loses four on that play. Clock continues to roll. Fake. Garrett takes it, and Greg Williams not going to fall for the fake. He'll bring him down. Garrett. Decides to keep the ball, and he's met. Really? Just nothing doing anything but what they've stop. done the entire time. Well behind Thought the they may open it up, maybe try a couple of uh, passing attempts. And he was three for three in the first half. Spotted at the 40-yard line. It'll be third down. Third and about 16, 16, almost 17. We're down to 130 left to play. Right now, 130, 90 seconds.
Handoff, backfield. Cooper Krieg pushes it out. Michael Scott out of bounds. Michael Scott. Yeah, finally taken out of bounds. Number 36. Uh, taken up to the Sahid Davis. Yard line. Yeah, Davis has played a pretty decent game considering the sophomore had to come in as the regular starting safety. Alor Nevis had to fill in at middle linebacker, and Nevis did a good job there. Big Blue will bring out the punt team with under a minute to play. Yeah, Colerain's not even going to bother putting a return man back. They're going to play to watch the fake. <laughs> it looks like Hamilton just going to let the game clock... Yeah, they didn't even start the play clock, so referees didn't. So I'll take this time to recognize some of our, what we got going on now? They now called we, timeout. I think the play clock was wrong. It should have started. They, they set the re play clock to 40 seconds. Yeah, they reset the play clock, so they do call timeout. All right, this will give me time to recognize our seniors. Um, and this is the updated roster that we've got. I apologize if we miss anybody, but this is what we were given. So thanks again to uh, Donovan Dillingham. Jeremy Cheatham, Leo Hughes, well, Deshaun Hopper, Kevin Sherman, give a big Brennan Green, Elorm Nevis, Will Shuddy, Michael Huff, Anthony Tate, the Isaac Swisshelm, Stanley West, Stephen Cassidy, Nathan Fry, Jacob Fitzgerald, Thank you, seniors and your parents Bud and your Taylor, parents. and Jameer Carpenter. Thank you, seniors. And again, I can't give more plaudits to Jeremy, Jameer Carpenter's family. That is the biggest entourage well, I've ever to seen. Kinda, to kind of explain what Brandon's saying, uh, pregame they, they recognize the players get to walk with a couple of their family members and recognize the senior night. So they walk across the field. And normally it's mom, dad, a couple younger brothers, maybe grandma, grandpa. There were 20 to 25 people in the Carpenter family as this ball was punted, out of bounds. Nope, it's, it's just going to stay in bounds. In. And I don't know if you saw too. They had uh, ninety nine uh, number ninety nine fans. Everybody yeah, had their t-shirt. It t -shirt. wasn't just the number. They, it was like they oh, all they coordinate got the, the dress. The younger had ones had hoodies. Sweatshirts. The moms had jerseys. The fathers had. Yeah, so it was it was, it was something great to see a, a very tight family, and they get to celebrate tonight with their son and, also and all the other sons for here for our seniors. So Cardinals will come out in victory formation. 20 Golden seconds on the clock, they'll take one snap. These student athletes and their participation to make these games fantastic. So for the First final play of the game, in the victory formation. Say Jennings takes the snap, takes the knee, and the Cardinals can let the clock roll. Mikhail Satterwhite takes the knee and then limit. So as time expires here, it'll run final here. The Coltrane Cardinals defeat the Hamilton Big Blue 21 to nothing on senior night. So thank you all for listening here to Coltrane Game Day. I'm Brandon White alongside Brian Wyatt here with Mike Rourke on camera. We'll see you guys next week as the Coltrane Cardinals travel to yes, Lakota yes. West to take on right, the gentlemen, Firebirds. The Again, Coltrane Cardinals tonight. defeat the Big Blue. The 21 Cardinals, to nothing. 21. Thank you all for listening Hamilton, to Corey. Big Blue Zero on Senior Night. Thank you, seniors. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.